What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're going to talk about five different types of silver coins that you should avoid for silver stacking or silver investing. Alright, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you have been silver stacking for quite a while, or if you're just getting into purchasing physical silver, this is going to be a great video for you because we're going to talk about the types of silver coins that you should avoid these are the silver coins you should not buy for silver investing or silver stacking now stick around till the end of the video because i will have one bonus tip for you now with that being said let's get into the list number five is the chinese silver pandas that are from 2016 or newer now this one is actually from 2012 and i don't even have any of the newer Chinese silver pandas just because I have avoided them <laughs> so let me tell you why you don't want to be stacking the newer Chinese silver panda coins now this one as you can see at the bottom says one ounce AG 999 so this is one ounce of three nines fine silver this is totally fine for silver stacking however the newer Chinese silver pandas and I will put some pictures up on the screen here so you can see they're actually 30 grams of silver so they're less than an ounce so this is kind of a weird size in fact I don't think there's any other silver coin that comes in 30 grams so because this is a weird one people are just not as excited about them over here in the United States of America and I know other parts of the world people aren't as excited about them either so because it's kind of a weird size and they do have a fairly high premium as well I would say avoid these number four is going to be the collectible silver coins Remember, we're talking about silver stacking here. We're talking about long-term wealth preservation. We don't know how well these collectibles are going to do in years to come. I mean, they're super fun to buy. Don't get me wrong. If you just want to collect silver, enjoy it, then absolutely you can be purchasing these. But when it comes to silver stacking or silver investing, you should buy stuff that is more liquid and a lower premium if i take this down to my coin shop yes they're absolutely going to buy it off me but the problem is they're not going to pay me what it's worth they're going to pay me probably spot plus a few dollars you know if you sell these on ebay yes you could get much more money for them but that's such a hassle to list everything individually and then you got to pay for shipping hope that you don't get scammed you know there's paypal fees there's ebay fees all that kind of stuff so when you go to offload your silver that you've stacked you really want to just take it down to your local coin shop give it all to them and say all right here you go and then walk out with your cash right so when it comes to collectible silver coins i don't recommend these for the average silver stacker i recommend buying low premium silver because you're going to get a lot more silver for your money speaking of low premium silver whenever i buy silver online i never pay retail i always shop the deals so here we are at sdbullion.com there is a link down below in the description if you click on docs deals you can see all of the silver that is currently on sale so they got the one kilo silver bars 269 over spot even if you buy just one of them they got random design one ounce silver coins 449 over spot they got the 40 percent kennedy half dollars two dollars over spot so that is a much better option for silver stacking because the premiums are way lower and while we're here on this website let's talk about number three that you should avoid and that is the american silver eagles now i have talked about these in a bunch of previous videos but i have to include it in this list because i know there's at least one person watching that doesn't know the american silver eagles should be avoided right now and that is simply because the premium is way too high so silver is right around twenty dollars an ounce and these are thirty five dollars an ounce okay so that's a fifteen dollar premium these have basically turned into collectible 
coins. They're not really bullion anymore at this price point. So in my opinion, they're not good for stacking. You should stick with the lower premium stuff. And it really is too bad because these are extremely beautiful silver coins. I used to pick them up for just $3 over spot but now the premiums are absolutely out of control, so you have to avoid them. Number two is going to be unique and less liquid silver coins. This would be like world coins that contain some fineness of silver in them, but it's really hard to keep track of what percentage of the coin is silver, how much does the coin weigh. So for example, I recently picked up these silver coins, and for the life of me, I cannot remember how pure they are. I mean, they don't say silver anywhere on them, at least not that I can read, and they don't say the fineness, so I would have to look them up, right? And if I ever want to sell them, I'm probably not even going to get spot for these. So these world silver coins, I mean, you can find them pretty cheap on eBay from time to time, but I would just not advise stacking them because you can't really always remember exactly how much silver is in them like this one here i think it is 10 percent silver but i'm not entirely sure and the only reason i think it's 10 percent silver is because someone wrote over here 0. 0.1000 silver so i'm pretty sure this has silver in it but i'm not entirely sure the same goes for most of these other coins I mean, I do live in America, and I do think that junk silver coins are good for stacking here. You got your quarters, dimes, half dollars, but these are all 90% silver. I know they're 90% silver. So it's really easy for me to remember, you know, how much silver I have here. And also, it would be really easy for me to sell these because all the coin shops are familiar with them. But the world silver coins... They're just not as liquid. Perhaps some of you watching live in the countries that these coins came from and you're like, hey, that actually is pretty liquid where I live and that's not a terrible thing to stack. That's totally fine, but I'm talking about for the people that live here, you should definitely avoid stuff that you're not really familiar with. And again, this is just for silver stacking and silver investing. If you want to collect silver, it would be really fun to learn about all the different silver coins around the world, but for the average stacker, this is just not the best thing to be buying. And the number one type of silver coin you should avoid buying is anything that comes in a slab. Remember, if it comes in a slab, don't buy a lot, just a dab. Wait, that's not right. The price includes a lot of flab. No, that doesn't sound right either. They will pinch you just like a crab. Okay, I'm done with this. I can't think of a good rhyme, but leave a comment down below in the comment section. What's something funny? If it comes in the slab... It's just a money grab. Oh, hey, there's a good one. Uh, yeah, so comment your favorite down below. But slab silver coins are not good for silver stacking. And I have a bunch of different types, not just silver eagles and a metal. I got this one here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. I got a few other ones. We got uh, an ancient coin. That's pretty sweet. I also got this uh, commemorative. That's really cool. But the thing is... These take up a lot of space. I mean, look at all the plastic that goes around the silver coin. I mean, silver already takes up a good amount of space, but when you add in all this plastic, it's just ridiculous to try and stack silver like that. And also, the premiums are massive. I mean, it costs a lot of money to send in coins to get graded, and, you know, you have to pay top dollar for this kind of stuff. So, yes, it is fun to collect, but if you want to invest in silver or stack silver, they're absolutely terrible. Also, buying slab silver coins in general is a little bit risky. This is a perfect grade MS70. However, since this coin got graded, you can see there is some toning starting to develop on the coin, and this actually can lower the value of it. So silver can milk spot, it can tone over time, and so it's kind of risky already. But yeah, for investing, definitely stay away from this stuff. And the bonus tip in today's video is to stay away from silver coins, bars, and rounds that weigh less than one ounce. Because the smaller it is, the higher the minting cost 
per piece. So the smallest size that I recommend for stacking and investing is one ounce. Unless, of course, you're buying junk silver, then you can get smaller because, hey, a silver dime is a 14th of an ounce of silver. But the premiums are relatively low on that type of stuff. But when it comes to silver bars, coins, and rounds that are less than an ounce, I stay away from them. So there you go. Those were my top five silver coins to avoid for silver stacking. If you have any you'd like to add to the list, feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out